The show goes on for Don Moabek, and the Detroit Lions re-signed Jordan Tiamu. Did you realize that you were a champion in their Hello everyone, my name is Derek and welcome back to the Gridiron Blitz. We do all things Detroit Lions on this channel, and we also do three live NFL streams per week. So you make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a live stream or upload. After 17 years in the National Football League, all of them being with the Detroit Lions, long snapper Don Moabek has been cut by the team. He was part of the five roster cuts that happened yesterday, supposed to be by 4 p.m. Him and four other former Detroit Lions were cut. Don has had quite a story career uh, being in the National Football League for 17 years. Only 36 players, 36 players in the National Football League to ever take the field have played more games than Mr. Moabek. Signing with the team halfway through the 2004 season, he's really been a staple for us over these years. As a matter of fact, he was the last person from the Detroit Lions 0-16 era season uh, being there in 08. Now the sad part is Don was released from the team on his 40th birthday and that had to be a busted situation. No better way than to have a new year start for you and you're being released. That's supposed to be a joyful day and unfortunately it was not for him in that regard. Detroit Lion head coach Dan Campbell said it's one of the hardest things he's ever had to do uh, as release a guy on his birthday after 17 years with the team, he actually played with Don back in between 2006 and 2008. I'm sure they form maybe some type of chemistry, some type of relationship. And that guy turned around and wind up having to let him go. So I'm sure that was probably one of the toughest things thus far that Coach Campbell had to do as the Detroit Lions head coach. Don made the Pro Bowl in 2012 and 2018 and is tied for 37th of all-time games played with 260. Now, I'm older than Don by two years, and it's kind of put in perspective that I was 24 when this guy signed with the Detroit Lions. He's been through Calvin Johnson. He signed five years after the Barry Sanders era, which has been over 20 years ago. So that's that's insane. Congratulations to him. I wish him well, and he'll always be remembered in the city of Detroit. The Detroit Lions also re-signed XFL standout Jordan Tiamu, who had been the quarterback for the St. Louis Battlecats during the XFL stint, the five games in 2020. Now, Jordan Tiamu had spent some time with our team last season uh, on the practice squad. I actually like this move. I would like to see Jordan actually be able to compete for a backup role in the National Football League. Him and fellow standout P.J. Walker, who is now fighting for the backup spot for the Carolina Panthers, who actually came in last season and helped shred the Detroit Lions to lead to that first shutout in so many years for the Detroit Lions, 20-0. All of that was led by P.J. Walker. Now, P.J. Walker was the face of the XFL. It was only eight starting quarterbacks, so not a lot of choices there, but Jordan was a very close second in that league. Tim Boyle and David Blau are competing for that backup role. David has a lingering shoulder issue, and Tim rolled his ankle Friday. So Jordan will probably see some time coming up this Saturday. It'll be kind of interesting to see if he can make some ripples and maybe sneak his way in there for an illegitimate battle. As I said earlier, Jordan spent some time with us, with our team on the practice squad last year during the Matt Patricia era. I think this guy could be better than either David Blau or Tim Boyle. I watched every single XFL game and Jordan was a solid guy in that league. Now, of course, now, of course, the XFL is not on the same level of the National Football League, but the NFL is for the elite of the elite, and sometimes guys just get glossed over. I mean, look what's happening to Josh Rosen. If the XFL does come back this coming season and Josh Rosen just doesn't get a, another chance in the NFL, look for him to potentially be a quarterback in the XFL whenever that league comes back. I'm excited about this signing. I think he should be giving a legitimate chance to compete for the backup role, at least the number three. In my opinion, I think I've always liked when the Detroit Lions carry three quarterbacks because you've got your starter in Jared Goff, you've got his insurance policy, and in my opinion, if Jared Goff goes down and that number two has to come in, 
you don't want to be scrambling for a number three. I also like that Jordan spent some time on our roster last year, but of course we had a completely different coaching staff, so it's probably a completely different team from when he was here. But leave it in the comments below. How do you feel about Don Moabag being let go after 17 seasons in the National Football League, all with the Detroit Lions. And do you like this re-signing of Jordan Tiamu? Do you think he has a shot to actually make the active roster when he gets cut down right before the season start to those final roster cuts? My name is Derek. This is the Gridiron Blitz. Consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell because you don't want to miss the four live streams, including your Detroit Lions during the National Football League season. I'll see you in the next video.